So how do you patch suckless software? Because you've always heard all those big YouTubers using it, and you've wanted to use it yourself, but you don't know where to start. Now, patching, while it might seem very complicated, is actually a really easy process. The, the only time it gets complicated is when you have to untangle, uh, or rather than untangle, retangle together different patches that change the same lines of code or change things in a way, and then you have to use skills to figure out how to reconcile the two bits of code together. Today I'm going to show you how to do that using the Suckless tool D-Menu. It's a very simple program. There's not many crazy patches out there on like DWMs, and Surf, Tabbed. Actually, I think Tabbed is also very simple. First of all, you'd want to get clone this. So I like to do that. And do I get clone? Oh. I'll do a get clone of that repo. That's been grabbed. So I want to grab some patches now. I think a very simple one to try out would be let's do X resources and fuzzy highlight. You select your patches now. You go and click the, the link they give you and then you save the page. All I can do is put it in the D menu folder under a folder called patches. Save it there. And save this one. And you want to make sure you save the page because it'll make it easier. So you want to go to that folder. I right, delete this. All right, so now that we've cleared that up, so now whenever you're patching, since this is a Git repository, you should do is do a Git, hit checkout, and then I like to name it the the branch the branch that we're gonna make for the patch. So this would be the X resources. I could spell. So. You know, it's open right on the screen. Okay, we need to give it the dash B flag, which creates a new branch. So now we're in the branch, you can do a, now you can do a git uh, patch and then the file. However, that way is nice in the early stages, but it really starts falling apart because It'll only yell at you when it breaks, and it's not very helpful. However, doing this method using patch, followed like this with the the path to the patch, and do the X resource is one, and do this. Now it will give us output telling us if it succeeded or not, and which it did. This is easy, and you should, and so we could do a, so you make a make, and it works perfectly fine. So, since this is testing, I'm not going to create a new branch, but you would, what you'd do is do, you would then check out, actually I should just show you, you do check out main, you check out main, oh, I guess it didn't commit it, but what you could do is do a, oh, I see. Alright, so you do this if you need an easy way to check to see what you need to commit is look at what files were changed and do a git add. And I believe it was a d menu.c uh, config.h, a def dot h. Then, although an easy way to check would be a git commit. So, oh, well, identity. All right.
All right, so what you should do is you should commit your changes and then merge it back by doing a git merge and then the file path. So I haven't set up git yet. I won't be able to do that. So, so we'll just go to the next patch, which was the fuzzy highlight patch. So do a git, no, not git, you do a patch. Do the same thing and then patches. Many fuzzy highlight. Let's see. Uh, see, it failed at this line, and when it fails, it'll output everything to this dot reject file. What I'm do is open another terminal in the same window and do a do a. In this case, we can use nvim to edit. What file was it? It was dmenu.c and then we'll open up the reject file dmenu.c.reject here and we'll see where it is. So do a search in this case vim you do a forward slash and see it actually seems to fail in main. We'll search for that and then we'll look this if it seems to break here. So it wants this the add in these color the this in there. So we'll do a copy. I've made it so the clipboard is consistent. And then normal high back. So it seems to break here. I'm gonna add it there and see what happens. I'll make sure to delete the diff pluses. Are they adding? Oh, that should work. So I do a make. It seems to not spit on errors. I did a make it stall. It should now be a different menu yeah. which does seem to be breaking mostly because of probably how I configured on my system compared to the one so that's how you do a simple patch and edit of a cyclic software it's not really that hard it gets much more complicated the more you add the more bloat you add it would probably be the best way to describe it but other than that it works fairly well i might do a, a additional for more complex mergers but that was it see you next time